Well, I, I will absolve any of you who did not read every single verse of the first nine chapters of Chronicles. If you skipped a name or two or a paragraph or two. But at the beginning of chapter nine, we've, we've moved from the beginning of the book all the way from kind of the, the very beginning, the first people, the first names we get. And at chapter nine, now Israel has already fallen. They've been conquered. And now the first exiles are returning. In chapters 9, verses 1 and 2, it says, So all Israel was enrolled by genealogies, and these are written in the book of the kings of Israel. And Judah was taken into exile in Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now the first to live again in their possessions in their towns were Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. So the chronicler here is making a couple of points. First of all, throughout Chronicles, you're going to hear repeated uh, this emphasis that the terrible things that befell the people of Israel and Judah happened because they were not faithful to the covenant that God had established with them. And that is their theological perspective. Uh, that's something that's worth thinking about because if you turn to the New Testament, for example, think about the story in John chapter 9 of the man born blind, where Jesus and his disciples see this man who's been born blind, and the disciples ask Jesus, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus' answer is that neither this man nor his parents sinned, that he was born blind, but that his blindness would be the occasion for God's glory to be demonstrated through him. Well, the disciples' question, who sinned that this man was born blind, reflects the theological perspective that we see in Chronicles, that if something bad has happened, God must be punishing you for something. And that theological viewpoint gets challenged as we move through the Bible, and we'll see that more later in the prophets and in the New Testament. But in Chronicles, they're making the point it was their unfaithfulness that led to their downfall. The second point I want to share with you today is that the people who first came back were the people who made worship possible. The Levites, the priests, the temple servants, and how vital it is to a community's sense of belonging, identity, to have that common spiritual place of worship. And that's part of what we see in Chronicles. And it's part of why we believe it's so vital, if at all possible, for people to be back in person in worship, if you can, and if not, to stay connected with us online like you are watching this devotion and watching worship. So that whether you're physically here or having to watch from home, that you know you are part of our community worshiping God. And that, that, bond, that bond binds us together. I pray God would be with you this day.